Hey guys, how are you doing? Apple have officially released iOS 18 software update to all the compatible iPhone and iPad models. When it comes to the iPhone, iOS 17 running iPhones are compatible with the iOS 18 version. This year, Apple haven't removed any older generation of iPhones, you know, from the iOS 18 latest software update with tons of new features and changes. When it comes to the iOS 18 update, if you are a beta tester, you are using either developer beta or public beta on your iPhone and you are not seeing the latest iOS 18 software update this is my iPhone 15 Pro Max running iOS 18.1 beta and here you can see on my iPhone 12 the iOS 18 beta didn't receive any update I have the developer beta toggle on under the settings general software update section so right now I'm using the iOS 18 release candidate version the RC version which is the same exact version rolled out to all the users yesterday people who are running iOS 17.6.1 uh, as the stable version. So that is the reason I haven't received any iOS 18 software update notification on my iPhone. So if you are using iOS 18 RC version, the last stable release of your, you know, on your iPhone, then you will not receive the latest iOS 18 stable version. If you want to receive the next iOS 18 stable update, like if for some reasons, if any critical bug fixes have to be, uh, you know, done, Apple may release iOS 18.0.1, uh, you know, possibly in a week or two time. So in such cases, you will receive the update only if you turn off this beta updates toggle. Navigate inside this section and then turn off the beta updates toggle and wait for the next update. So when the next update drops, you will receive it on your iPhone and iPad. And for the iOS 18.1 users, you will also not see the iOS 18 update because you are already in a higher version. So next month when Apple releases iOS 18.1 stable version, based on the same reasons, like if the iOS 18.1 beta updates you are installing on your iPhone will be the last release candidate version, then you will not receive the stable iOS 18 version once it's publicly released by end of next month. And it is also not possible to downgrade from iOS 18.1 to iOS 18 version. So I hope these tips helped you to understand uh, about why you are not seeing iOS 18 update if you are on RC version on your iPhone or iPad. Thank you so much for watching. For more, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.